good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. And today, yes, I do want to talk about loop ring. And again, a lot of getting a lot of hate and a lot of fear and un unknown about this. There's a lot of that coming. But if you look at the protocol, look at the technology and what they're doing, what they've done, you'll understand this is a solid, solid token. It's a solid company with a solid background. They're not going anywhere. They have a solid base within China, a uh, solid base with whatever they're doing, the different protocols that they're leasing out and people, other companies using and accessing this. This, to me, tells the whole story. Some people say, yes, it's worth nothing. Hey, that's your fine. That's your opinion. If you can't handle the volatility, then you don't basically belong in the crypto ecosystem. I mean, think about when people started holding Bitcoin, 2013, 2014, 15, 16, 2017. There's volatility every day, more so than the stock market. To me, I enjoy this more than the stock market because of the volatility, because of the new technology that's coming in and learning about this as pretty much we're all learning about this at the same time. There's so much I don't know, but I'm learning about it from other people. I ask questions and getting more experience, more knowledge as we go along through this whole month, six months in the year, everything that, everything that happens. That's the most important thing is just a continuous learning for your own education and financial future. This is the most important thing because decades ago, we were not allowed to be trading stock. We're told, no, that you can't do that. You need more money and we'll take care of this for you. Just put it safely in the bank. Put it safely in bonds. Invest in this. Now we actually have things at our fingertips. We can use our phone to buy, hold cryptocurrencies, staking, getting a high return in the banks. And now with the debit, crypto debit cards, all of these things that are happening. We're getting access to hopefully establish a stronger financial understanding for ourselves, but also getting more responsibility. That's the big thing here is understanding your responsibility with how you control your money. Instead of just giving to a bank and just forgetting about it. Oh, it'll be fine there. Oh, it'll be fine. But now you're on top of this. You're on top of your money. You're on top of your wallet. You're learning. You're continuously pushing into this because you're worried about your money. You're worried about what's going on with it. So you're continuously learning. And a loop ring, most of the people that have gotten this, yes, they got in this by word of mouth. Oh, GameStop. They jumped in. Price pumped up, 347, 374, and it's been dropping. So what? Price drops. Bitcoin was up to 17,000, dropped down to 3,000. Up 7,000, down to 4,000. I remember at the time, it was up thousands of dollars within months. Does it bother me? No. Now, I enjoy this time learning and seeing how the whole ecosystem and what's going to be developed with GameStop. What are, what are they going to do? I don't know. If they have a direct partnership with them, I don't know. i sure people are excited about it. But in general, I like the protocol. I'm starting to understand it more, the ZK rollups, and what they are doing to really help ease of transactions, bring prices down for people to buy and trade, access to NFTs, and a lot more. This is the biggest thing. Ease of access and make things just easier, simpler people don't understand and simpler wallets to use and again this is still the early stages and we are again almost like the guinea pigs of the whole crypto de decentralized maybe early 2020s and going to next decade you're going to look back and say wow i had to deal with all of that that was a pain in the butt but you went through it and hopefully in the next five years you look back in five years you're going to say you know what i'm glad i did that then it was worth the risk and that's what you have to ask yourself is it worth your time to be more financially responsible for your money? Is it worth your time to learn a little bit more to really push yourself and challenge yourself a little more? Hell yeah, it is. It's scary, but at the same time, it's exciting. More exciting than the stock market, more exciting than being on social media. You're gaining more wealth of information and you're getting more confidence, self-confidence and reassurance about what you can do. And that's what I love about this. Whatever happens with GameStop, it's gonna shoot, drop, bombs everywhere and it's gonna be fantastic but until that happens keep learning keep exploring and understanding what you hold in your hands and how responsible you should be with your money investing it for the future because when things happen you're gonna have some extra money lying around that's the most important and that's also the fun part understanding and helping people learn what you know sharing information that you don't you don't know to me it's another fun day. So all of you out there, have a great day. GameStop, Loop Ring, whatever happens, 
happens. But I'm just excited to be part of this whole 2022 cycle going ahead and uh, understanding more about this. Game on.